Hey y'all, good morning. We are actually trying out some geocaching today. Um, We tried one down the street. This one is actually titled Another Walk to a Fishing Hole. And we do get a hint here, which is, let's see. Oh, description. It says, in case you're in the area for some fishing or fuel, here's a cache to grab along the way, BYOP. So we're gonna leave something, which we have some goodies with us. Um, but let's see what our hint is guardrail and we actually have an aerial view on the phone of where it might be so that's where you try to locate it let's see so you zoom in and it's gonna show you where it's at if we look straight ahead we can see a guardrail so we're gonna head over there and we're gonna see what we got all right so I have my backpack with some of the little prizes in them because you just, you leave something, you can take something. And so we're gonna go see what we can find over here. We kind of have a diagram to go by. We are getting closer if you wanna take a look on the chart. It's kind of hard to see because of the, the daylight, but let's go take a look. All right, so we are here at the guardrail. We're gonna look for anything that's kind of magnetic or stuck to the stuff we can't really zoom in too too much but let's see i have found them before and i believe i will find them again sometimes people do take them and they will hide them for god knows why but this one's a little bit uh, trickier to find but then again, we don't know if it's on the front or the back. So let me see if there's anything on the front. I don't see anything. Let's take a look here. It looks like we're almost on top of it. So, all right, I believe to have found the geocache. Take a look. I thought I was going crazy for a minute, but I believe this is it. All right, and so in my bag, I do have a pen. I don't know how we're supposed to leave something if it's so small. It's kind of weird pulling these things out, but oh, it's a, all right. I think I might have something. I mean, I have a dice, but, and we're gonna sign it. I do have a pen in here that we can sign. It's really hard to get these things out. People are probably thinking, what in tarnation are they doing? <laughs> okay. Bullseye. So here's the list of all the people. And it goes on. Let's see if we can find the most recent, which was 7-28-23. So, July. I'm gonna say LLA. Lovely adventures. And today is one. What is today? The 28th. 24. Awesome. So, we're gonna try to leave something in here. I'm gonna try to find something small. All right, y'all. So, the capsule is actually kind of small so thankfully i do have a small purple ring in here that's a sterling silver i'm gonna put that in here and we're gonna close it back up tightly we're gonna wish it luck for the next person to find it all right on to the next one all right y'all on to location number two this is out here at the triple creek the rocky creek area says uh, the clue is this area was ravaged by a tornado in March of 2020. The folks who live around here are still rebuilding. Find the cash here and take a drive to the end of the road to find a little marina and some cottages. Please pay, place back exactly as found, even if there's debris. Happy caching. So let's see the hint. Our hint is going to be not hanging. And it looks to kind of be off towards the front. Over here, we had seen something that said bejeweled. So, 
beautiful. That's the name of it actually, it's Bejeweled. So in my mind, what I'm gonna be doing is looking for something shiny. And mind you, it did say, even if there's debris, put it back as it was. There is quite a bit of trash over here. All right, a lot of junk. It does say that it's in a creative container, but as you can see, we have a lot of trash down here. So I'm trying to see. I don't think it's gonna be anything with liquid. But yeah, it says creative container and I am just not seeing it. It says we are actually on top of it, right? Well, that was unsuccessful. We did get a hint on what it, we were looking for and we still could not find it. There is a lot of trash out here, unfortunately. A lot of old bottles, broken up things. Back about four years ago, there was a tornado, I remember. Uh, so a lot of the things are still kind of caked up in the woods. So I'm not really sure exactly what might have happened. We did have a big storm not long ago. So we might have some debris built up. So that one we might come back to. All right, y'all, we're gonna have us a little picnic out here on the pier. Eat us some sandwiches. Just enjoying our day on the pier. The water behind us. Let's well, lunch. All right, y'all, so we have two different types of chips here. We also have some sandwiches with some brioche. We have some sharp cheddar and monster cheese. Uh -huh. Decided I had a chewy bar and a banana in there, but I've already devoured the banana. I was starving. All right, y'all, so we've arrived at the Patrick's Ferry. We just had our little picnic. And uh, now we are doing the one that is down by the lake. So let's see. The hint is gonna be fence. Find a way around it. <laughs> Love that. So let's see, the description is, one of the only public boat ramps in the area. Enjoy a day by the lake and grab this multi-cash. Feel free to message me if you need any additional help on this one. First stage is a camo micro with cords to the second coordinates. Uh, second stage is a camo micro that is hidden in plain sight but well disguised. Has coordinates to the final. The third and final is a small camo taped container with swag and log inside. So this is going to be a multi cache. So we're gonna we're gonna get into that. Come along. <laughs> All right, so this one's actually in the woods. It says from right here, we're almost pointed straight at it. So I'm assuming it's gonna be like over here. Yeah, it looks like if we keep walking up, we would get kind of close to it. So I'm thinking maybe it's on the fence line over here. It does say that there's a fence, you have to get around it, so. Okay, so I'm actually pretty close to this first one. I think it says uh, that I'm here. It said something about a fence. There's, there's a fence right there. But, and it says find a way around it. So I'm assuming the way around it's probably over there where that other entrance is. But it almost looks like it's so close. It looks like I'm almost on it. And what did this one say it was? A pill bottle? Yes. All right, so it says fence. Find a way around it. So we're gonna try over here on this little path and see if we can't find this little pill bottle because this actually looks like where people would go. All right, so this is uh, where the fence would normally be, I suppose. But it does say find a way around it. So let's see. Wow, I've never been over here. Sometimes it takes a second to upload, you know, update where the location is. But that's probably where people have entered. So it's probably, I'm guessing, around this location. All right, guys. So it was a camo mini catch something or another. And uh, sitting here searching and searching and I find this guy, which actually is probably accessible from 
the outside over there, but yeah, let's see. All right, so this is what it looks like. We have some camo duct tape on there. I'm gonna open it up. And of course, as always, we have a little piece of plastic in there with the log. All right, and someone had just found this one too as well. So let's see. Hint. If I can get it out. Little spiders. C I T O. Cito. Huh. This is the coordinates. Right in there. Kind of hard to see. Yeah, we're going to type these in and go from there. Not sure what that is. C-I-T-O, but so we'll see. All right, so this one is a little tougher. The clue is C-I-T-O. We're unsure what that is, but we're sure to figure it out. Thank gosh for rubber boots. Okay, this one says hidden and actually it says that you could see it in plain sight. So we're gonna check up here. A well disguised. And see, well disguised, but hidden in plain sight. Huh. So we figured we'd come up here and look. Okay, so I've typed the coordinates in on Google Earth and it has shown me that instead of over here, for some reason, Patrick's phone brought us over here. Um, it is saying that it's around that bend over there by the boat dock. So let's go take a gander. Yep. Oh my God. <laughs> Why are you so good at these? I don't know, baby. <laughs> it's so crazy. So here's our coordinates. This one, let me get down to do this. That's clever. That's a little straw piece. Okay. Coordinates to the third. Yes. On to the third one. All right. So deep in here is our third and final geocache. But hiding right here all right let's see all right it smells kind of oh poor thing got a little molded we got some leather in there some rings that's awesome actually i look got a bunch of little things in there can log some stuff all right all right so we're gonna log our adventure i might I kind of like that. That's cool. <laughs> All right. So put that back in there and I'm going to leave a little something. We're going to sign this and then we'll go from there. All right. So I'm going to give this Cozumel keychain from when I went on a cruise <laughs> and uh, give that to them because I'd rather them have it than me. And uh, we're going to sign this and go on about. So see you on the next one. So that was actually our first three part. And uh, that was actually a lot of fun. It was a little hard. A little complicated there for a second. But other than that, I guess that's just the nature of the game is having to, you know, do some searching and stuff. So, all right, we are here at Zip's Liquor for the next one. This one says it's a pretty simple find. Pretty usual. Oh, yeah. No. Where? Oh, look at that. Look at baby. All right, so that was relatively simple. Let's see. Yep, we've got the log in there. Quite a long log. We've had quite a few people coming along. Last one being 415, I believe. But yes, here at the liquor store which is on a Sunday, which is convenient for us because they are closed. So we're not looking like the weirdos in the parking lot, looking under light poles. <laughs> All right, let's see. This will sign up on this side, which is what, 128, 
28-24. Lovely adventures. All right, awesome. That was a good one. All right, so here we are at the Blanchard Community Center. So we do have a geocache that's located here. Um, our hint is the owner of this geocache should not leave a hint. <laughs> that's uh, quite a splendid hint there. So there is no hint. And uh, our description is, I don't think this old building is even in use anymore. Good place for a micro cache. I love buildings. Happy caching. So there is no hint. It's just uh, going to be a free for all. So we're kind of going to just take a gander around and see what we can find. Oh, wow. There's so many geocaches here. Look at this, y'all. This is a really neat old building. I like this. It looks like we're walking away. Let's take a gander in there real quick. Hmm. wonder what exactly we're looking for. That's crazy. That was an old tree that almost grew into the house or the community center. I was thinking in this little water meter, since it's not really being used anymore. But let's see if there's any things around. The container is gone. It's an old brown board. Oh, that steps. I don't know. It looked like an old brown board. So if that's the case, it's probably hanging off somewhere over here. I would assume. Oh my goodness. Termites. Wow. That is completely termite ridden. That is insane. Um, wow. It's on the back side of it. Yeah. Oh, this is such an old little building. I would love to see what's inside of this building. I'm not seeing it. Hmm. I want to look inside of the people. You can't really see anything. This beautiful textured door. Just kind of scoping along and Looking to see if we see any things hanging down. Oh, you know what? Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow, guys. As soon as you said it. Wow. And it's not missing. It is still here. Oh, oh my gosh. What in tarnation? <gasps> that is so tiny, y'all. It's not even the size of my finger now. Wow. Let's see how we do this. Holy goodness. <laughs> I think this is a brand new cache. Yeah, they said they just did maintenance and replaced it. Okay. So we're gonna sign this. Okay, if I can get it untwisted. All right. I'm going to sign it. 1, 28, 24. All right, let's roll her back up. Let us know in the comments if you've ever been to the Blanchard Community Center or you have any history to share with us. Yes, tell us your geocaching experiences. We're excited to hear. We're kind of new to this all, but uh, to be honest, this is a lot of fun. Let us know if you'd like to see more geocaching videos. Yes. 
Bye.